Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been ages since I've done a video on YouTube. I really wanted to take on the challenge of filming a video um, all about the power of makeup. So you have for sure seen Nikki Tutorials video that went extremely viral. I'm quite comfortable not wearing any makeup. I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever at the moment. Um, although a few years back I probably wasn't so comfortable wearing no makeup. I'm older and wiser now and I definitely don't use makeup in the same way as I did back then. So I may have used makeup back then because I might have been a bit insecure. I might have felt like um, I needed to look perfect. Um, so not the case now. I use makeup now to be creative. I use it to be, um, to sort of let loose, have fun. I'm gonna do one side of my face um, and leave the rest of the side of my face completely makeup free. So I'm going to start off with my Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation. This is the shade number 76. And I'm going to be applying that with my damp beauty blender. Okay, so that's just foundation. I'm gonna go ahead now and put some concealer on underneath my eyes. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is shade NC25. So just popping that under the eye area. I've definitely squeezed out way too much. Ugh. I'm gonna have to do the other side of my face later just so I don't waste all this product. Okay, now I'm going to take an eye base. This is the MAC Soft Ochre. I just bought a new one of these because this is my holy grail product when it comes to eye bases. And I just ran out and just bought a new one, thank goodness. I'm just applying this with the concealer brush. And then blending it out with the tip of the beauty blender. We're gonna cut, we're gonna, um, Fill in the brows next, and then carve the brow out with the um, with the paint pot. So just taking um, a comb to comb through the hairs first. Make sure they're going all in the same direction. And to fill in my brows today, I'm using my uh, Melanie Morris brow little gel. It comes in a small little pot, and it's the color brown. Taking an angled liner brush from Fearless Cosmetics. And I'm just going to fill in my brows and extend them a little bit as well on the ends. So I'm going to take that same concealer brush that we used earlier and I'm just going to carve my brows out underneath. I'm not putting any more product on this brush, I'm just going to use what's left on here. So just taking my iconic London um, contouring powder palette and I'm just taking the correct and perfect colour. It's like a yellow banana shade and I'm just going to pop that over the top here. It's a matte powder so this will work just fine to set the base. Today I'm going to be using my Morphe palette. This one here is the 35F and I'll just open it to show you exactly. So it's got quite a lot of shimmer colors through it, but the last row are all matte. So we're gonna use a combination of these colors today. For my brow bone, we're gonna go in with this color up on the top corner. It's a really bright pearl color. I must say these eyeshadows have amazing pigment. I've dipped my brush in just once and look at that, yes. So next I'm going to go in with a matte shadow, two matte shadows. This, these are going to go into the crease of the eye as a transition. So I'm going to go with this sort of soft, um, I guess you'd call it apricot colour. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit deeper, sort of like a really warm orange. Now I'm going to go with that slightly deeper sort of orange. I 
I'm making this up as I go as well, guys, so bear with me. Just softly blending all that together. I'm just going to take a smaller brush now. This one is the 10S from Inglot Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with this really deep sort of reddish orange color. So this is right in the outer corner here, in that crease. I'm actually going to bring this color down as well into this outer corner of the eye. This is just so pigmented, like I'm barely touching anything in the palette and it's coming out so beautiful. So taking that fluffy brush once again, I didn't mention but this is the um, uh, Say Me Brush 2.2. These are made in Japan, they're amazing. Okay, so I'm deciding I want to take this deeper colour a little bit into this socket a bit more. So we're going to do that with the small brush. Actually, I'm really feeling this colour, so I'm going to go into the inner tear duct. I did tell you just before, I'm making this up as I go. So, tear duct, we're going to put this really rusty orange. Yes, okay, so we're creating a halo, a smoky halo look. Why not? Now I'm going to go in with the black that's on the bottom of the palette there. Same little tiny brush, and this is going to go in the outer corner of the eye. And yes, in the inner corner of the eye. Why not? We're going to mimic what we've done up the top, down the bottom later on. This little small one here. Uh, this is a Bedellium Tool 781 brush. I just don't want the black to go too far out, so I'm using a clean, small, fluffy brush to do that. I'm always holding like a million brushes in my hand. No wonder I drop everything. Mm. And if not holding a million brushes, I have them in my mouth also. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a lid colour in the centre of the eye. And we're going to go for this colour here. It's second from the end. So that's the highlight we used earlier. I'm going to use this one here. It's kind of similar. It's um, not so champagne. It's got a little bit more pink through it, I believe. And then just with a fluffy brush, blend those edges out just so it doesn't look blocky. It looks nice and smooth. So now I'm going to take an eyeliner. This is my Inglot AMC gel liner in number 77. And I'm going to create a winged liner. I'm also going to pop the liner on the inside of the eye as well, on the bottom waterline. Liner brush, this is the 31T Inglot liner brush. It's absolutely my favorite. So for lashes today, I'm going to use my Lashes by May's Lashes in Boss Girl because they are huge and it's the power of makeup video. So. so today I'm going to use one of my new um, cream contour palettes. Um, I received the iconic London palettes last week in the mail. So this is the cream contour palette um, by Iconic London and I have been so excited to receive this, um, to get this in the mail because it's amazing. I've been using this for the past week, uh, week? Yeah, because I got it last week. So about a week I've been using this on the daily and seriously, it's amazing. It is so creamy, so easy to blend. It's not like other palettes where it's kind of like waxy and if you wait too long you can't blend it out very well and you need to like put some fix brow in your beauty blender and like you know this is not like that I'm just taking my real techniques brush um, I'm going to use the 
correct and perfect color which is this one here in the middle so I'm going to apply this under the eye area forehead uh, Cupid's bow nose and chin this is going to be weird because of course we're used to creating more of a symmetrical symmetrical sort of look when you're doing this um, but yeah we're only doing one side guys so let's see how this goes And for the contouring, I'm kind of going to use a little bit of a mixture because I want some warmth and I want obviously that natural shadow look. So we're going to do the Tighten and Tone colour, which is here, and the Sculpt and Define colour, which is deeper and more cooler tone. So taking the Tighten and Tone colour first on my brush, we're going to do the cheekbone. Around the temples and the forehead under the lip also jawline and side of the nose so taking now the, the uh, deeper color the sculpt and define just in the very very outer corner there this is just an extra dimension, so not too dark, not too heavy. Mm, don't even need it on the nose. All right, so taking the Beauty Blender once again and blending all of that out. We're going to go in with a little bit of the Inglot uh, Loose Powder. This is number 12. I'm just going to put this under the eye area to set and bake a little bit. I'm not going to bake the other areas. Again, with the Iconic London palette but this time it's the contour, highlighting contouring powder palette and they have the same colors just in powder form real so, techniques uh, what is this one called I've forgotten uh, setting brush hmm, makes sense so we're gonna take the correct and perfect which is that middle banana color and apply that to the areas where we apply the cream the uh, tight and tone oh this is the, my Sigma F40 brush holy grail contouring brush Taking just a small fluffy brush for the nose, just so we don't go overboard, of course. The contouring and the highlight on the nose, it ain't gonna do nothing for this video. Blush. I'm going to try a new blush that I've not tried before. I received in the mail a little while ago. I purchased it a while ago and I haven't touched it. I haven't even swatched it, you guys, so. Let me swatch it first. Oh, it's ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Cheek in a Satin Texture. And it's called Birthday Suit. So it's this rosy pink color. And I'm just going to swatch this. If you're not familiar with ColourPop Cosmetics, get yourself familiar. <laughs> They're amazing. There it is there. Oh, it's a bit hard to see with the lighting. Nice. So um, they do amazing liquid lipsticks. They do amazing eyeshadows. They are like a moussey, creamy sort of texture, and then they dry powdery. 
if that makes sense. Brush in the powder, I mean blush. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm sure I could apply this with my fingers, but it's the first time I'm using it, so I'm a little skeptical to, to do that. I'm not a, I don't apply makeup with my fingers ever, unless it's like a highlighter, like a liquid highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna take off that bake that I have underneath my eyes. Taking the Iconic London Powder Highlight Contour Palette again, and I'm taking the Smooth and Brighten color, and I'm just sweeping, sweeping that away really gently, because you don't want to target the foundation underneath. I'm going to use my Morphe palette once again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic exactly what I did on the top of my eye, that top lid underneath. So I'm going to do the the two darker bits here and then the center nice and light. Now, I have been dying to share this with you guys. I mean, I'm probably the last person on the planet anyway to have purchased this. It's the Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. How it took me so long to get this, I have no idea. I'm going to use two colors today. I'm gonna to use the bronzed one, because that's gonna give us some bronzy glow. Right, this is gonna go on the cheek area top of the cheek. And on top of that, I'm going to use the summer color, which is this one here. I just put my nail through that. Ugh. Anyway, summer. So this is like a champagne golden tone. Ridiculous. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love these. How did I not get this sooner? You know why? Because I already had a million highlighters and that's probably why. And I thought, oh, it's another highlighter. Surely they're the same. They're so pigmented. So good. The ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. Um, they're a liquid lipstick. So they stay on very, very, very well. So I'm just gonna put that on. Mm. Woo! Okay, yes, power of makeup, you guys. Okay, ColourPop. Oh, I didn't tell you the color. This one is called Bianca. This would be gorgeous for bridal, for sure. I think I'm gonna get another one of these, just for my kit. This is nice. Okay. Oh yeah, this is another one of those colors I've only just swatched, I haven't actually used. Uh, I buy a lot of makeup and forget that I've purchased it and <laughs> forget to use it. It's an illness, it really is. I forgot to put lip liner on you guys, I don't really need it, but I think for the sake of power of makeup, I should put just a little bit of lip liner just to really, you know. Okay, I'm just taking Saw from MAC. And it's slightly deeper, so I'm just going to be careful not to go too heavy. Okay, you guys, that is my final look. I'm just, I'm just going to give me one second. I'm going to do the whole, you know, like wipe the straight line down the middle of the face. <laughs> give me one second. How am I going to do this? Okay. This is way harder than doing the makeup itself. I can't believe this. Okay everyone, so this is my power of makeup look. So, absolutely nothing to fully glam. <laughs> so, I think you need to 
learn how to feel comfortable in both makeup and no makeup um, you'll be so much happier for it I definitely was not comfortable when I was younger um, and I, that's probably a teen thing you know that adolescent insecurities that we all get um, but definitely with time um, it gets better and you get more confident being in your own skin and I definitely love doing all this it makes me happy um, it's fun to do that's why I do makeup that's why I love to wear it not because I feel like I have to cover things anymore it's definitely not why I wear makeup anymore maybe it was not so much now um, but yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, but most of all took something positive from it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!